Hey guys, from the outset, I just want to go ahead and mention that the reason why you're not seeing that many videos on our YouTube channel is, is because we're on vacation and our vacation will be wrapping up in the second week of September. So all this summer, you're not going to be seeing that many videos from us but we will post videos up whenever we get a chance if something big breaks we'll also post videos if we can and if we're able to but that is the reason why you're not seeing that many videos on this channel hey guys we have we have a life we got to get out sometimes A team of astronomers from the Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico have picked up strange signals emanating from a red dwarf star 11 light years away. Some are saying this is just another piece of data proving there's life outside of Earth, but experts aren't so sure. On May 12th of this year, the team observed mysterious radio signals emanating from a star called Ross 128. Quote, we realized that there were some very particular signals in the 10 minute dynamic spectrum that we obtained from Ross 128 or GJ447 in the constellation Virgo observed May 12th wrote Professor Abel Mendez. He's a planetary astrobiologist. The very particular pulse appeared to be unique to the red dwarf, scientists say, with observations of similar nearby stars showing no similar behavior. Mendez says that the next star that underwent these same tests was Bernard's star. Mendez's blog post continues saying signals consist of broadband periodic non-polarized pulses with very strong dispersion-like features. We believe that the signals are not local radio frequencies, interferences, or RFI, since they are unique to Ross 128 and observations of other stars immediately before and after did not show anything similar. But Mendez doesn't believe that extraterrestrial life is at the forefront of the explanations for the mysterious radio signals the team detected. In case you're wondering, he says in the blog post, the recurrent alien hypothesis is at the bottom of many other better explanations. So he says, but if Mendez is confident these are not signals from aliens, what does he believe the radio signals could be? Right now, there are only three potential explanations. They could be emissions similar to a type two solar flare emission, from another object in the field of view of the star, or they are coming from a high orbit satellite. But Mendez claims in his post that each of these potentialities comes with its own issues. He says, for example, type two solar flares occur at much lower frequencies and the dispersion suggests a much farther source or a dense electron field. Also, there are not many nearby objects in the field of view of Ross 128, and we have never seen satellites emit bursts like that, which are common in our other star observations. Now, Mendez said he hopes to have a definite answer as to what is causing the signals by the end of this week or early next week. We are looking to announce as early as possible, he went on to say. What do you think? that the radio signals are coming from this nearby star that is 11 light years away. Leave your comments below this video. Thanks for watching.